Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's webinar. Today's webinar is on the topic decision theory. Now decision theory is a topic that comes in operations research. Here, this topic has a lot of inclination towards managerial parlance like planning, organizing, motivation, etc. Now decision theory has is divided into three different sections in the I which I'll be covering in three different webinars. In the first session, I'll be speaking on the fundamentals and the basics of decision theory. Uh, the second one will be discussing on the strategies that we take at the time of uncertainties. And the third webinar will be on the strategies that we take at the time of risk. Okay, so welcome to today's session on the basics of decision theory. Now we take decisions in our day-to-day -day life. We take decision whether for a bit for a basic day-to-day -day activities we take a lot of decisions. Early up in the morning we take decisions whether to go to school today or whether to go for a game today or for a movie today. So if you go to the managerial parlance, you have long-term and short-term decisions. Now decisions are inevitable for managers. So it is an integral part of managerial planning, organizing, controlling, and motivation process. Now, what does this entire uh, the thing called decision theory is all about. Now, decision theory is all about now when the um, environment is uh, un is ambiguous and it is not at all deterministic. So, how do you take decisions when you are not sure as what what the result end would be? So that uh, that is what is known as decision theory. So, in decision theory, we basically look into uh, it is okay. We would say that it's a statistical tool or a technique to find out the best way of doing any work. So uh, at the same time, the decision theory is also taking the best decisions and eliminating the uh, un, uh, unwanted or useless alternatives. So in one sense, we can say that decision theory is all about finding out the best or the optimal way of doing any work. Now. Uh, the success or a failure of an individual depends on how well he takes the decisions in his life. So it depends to a great extent the ability of making acceptable decisions that too within the time limit. So uh, these are the basis of decision theory. Now, when you come to the problem formulation part of it, we can understand that a decision problem when you come to the decision theory part of it, we can understand that a decision problem has three different things. The first one is the decision alternatives. The second one is the states of nature. And at last you have the payoff. Now, let us take a little bit of depth in as what all three different wordings like decision alternatives, states of nature and payoffs mean. Now, decision alternatives are the different possible strategies that the decision maker can employ. Now, the decision maker can employ the different strategies like whether I can use, uh, I can invest myself in bonds, whether I can invest myself in um, something else, some mutual funds or something. So these are the different strategies that he comes up with. The states of nature refer to the future events, not under the control of the decision maker which will ultimately affect the decision results. So decision uh, states of nature could be the different activities or events that comes out sudden so that um, the entire planning goes wrong. So that is what is known as states of nature. And what comes out as a consequence from the combination of both of these, that is decision alternatives and states of nature is known as payoff. So the fundamentals of decision theory is these three things, that is decision alternatives, states of nature and payoff. So once again, decision alternatives are the courses of action or strategies. States of nature is an occurrence over which decision maker has no control and payoff is the quantitative measure of the outcome. Now let us try to understand this decision theory with the help of a practical example. We'll take the example of three egg omelet problem. Now just imagine you're preparing a three egg omelet. You're taking three eggs and with that you're making an omelet. Now have we already taken two eggs into the pan? You're suddenly 
got getting doubts whether the quality of the third. Now, you have not broken the third one. You're getting this feeling like this third one is rotten. Now, I've already put two eggs into the pan. Now, once you've taken the third egg, you get this particular notion whether this third one is rotten or not. So two things may happen. Either you will end up saying that, okay, enough is enough. I will prepare omelette with only two eggs. Or you can even do one thing. You can put the third one and take a risk. So let us see what happens. Now, in this particular scenario, there are two things that is going to happen. The states of nature are two. That is, the third egg is good and the third egg is rotten. Now, what are the different strategies or acts that comes out? You do two, three things. The first one is you put the third egg into the pan. You're taking a risk. Second thing is you break the third egg into saucer and inspect. And the third one is you do not take the third egg. You are satisfied with two eggs. Now, imagine that the third egg is good, that it was perfect. There was no problem. So you put the third egg into the pan, what happens? You get a very beautiful, tasty three egg omelette. You break the third into the saucer and inspect, which means you're not putting it into the pan. You are just trying to, you're inspecting it. You're putting it to another plate and you're in, by inspecting it whether it's good or bad. So you, you find out whether three egg omelette, one saucer to wash, one extra saucer you have to wash, whether it is good or bad. If it is good, you put it into a th third, uh, into the saucer and make the third egg. A three egg saucer or else you throw it away now without any introspection without any thought you're getting this feeling like uh, this egg is rotten so you're throwing it away so you make a two, two egg omelette one good egg may be destroyed because the third one is good you're imagining that the third one is good so one egg got destroyed now imagine that the third egg is rotten now if the third egg was rotten you break the third into egg into the pan, the entire omelette goes, goes spoiled. So no egg omelette, you will have to be, you will have to remain in poverty on that whole day. You will not eat anything. And second thing is, you break the third egg into a saucer and inspect, you, the two egg omelette, one saucer to wash. Now this time what happens, you make a two egg omelette. Because when one is, you understood, you put in the saucer, you put in the plate and understood, you checked it, you understood that it was wrong. Okay, fine. And then the last one is, uh, you throw away the third egg, still you, you don't know whether it is good or bad, so it is a two egg omelette. Now, three things to understand here, the states of nature, the acts and the payoffs. The states of nature are the two things, the third egg is good, third egg is rotten. The strategies taken are, you put it into the pan without any hesitation, you put it into a plate, a saucer and you inspect and you th throw away the three strategies was taken and what did you get what what was the payoffs you get a three egg omelet you get uh, a saucer to wash you get a two egg omelet and similarly so these are the basis just an example basis to understand states of nature payoffs and strategies now in managerial parlance when you make decision making when you have decision making there are three conditions or for example these are the these are the different characteristics when you in decision making you take decisions when you are certain as what things are going to happen like environment in which relevant parameters have known values you know what are the consequences what what external things are going to happen whether the recession is going to happen or whether uh, some sort of an extra calamity is going to happen and accordingly you are predict you know that it will happen and accordingly you're making plans that is what is known as decision making under certainty if you're making decisions in environment in which it is impossible to access the likelihood of various future events it is known as decision making under uncertainty now there is another third condition called decision making under risk where the certain future events have probable outcomes. Now, you, you can get it, you cannot get it. So once again, decision-making conditions are one is decision-making under certainty, where an environment in which the future outcomes or the states of nature are known. You know what is going to happen. Uncertainty cannot list all the possible outcomes, cannot assign possibilities to the outcomes. And the third one is risk. You must make a decision for which the outcome is not known with certainty. You can list all the possible outcomes and assign probabilities to the outcomes. 
Now, let's summarize like this. Um, in decision theory, it is a statistical tool or a technique that is used to find out the best way of doing a work. Now, when we try to find out this best way of doing the work, we, all, we will automatically uh, subtract or uh, remove the unwanted or useless strat alternatives. Now, the basic fundamentals of decision theory are the decision alternatives or the strategies or cause of action, the states of nature or the occurrence on which the decision maker has no control over and the payoff that is the quantitative measure of the outcome. Now, the decision making conditions are basically three. The first one is certainty. The second one is uncertainty where the it is impossible to assess the likelihood of the various future events and the decision making at the time of risk where in which the environment in which the certain future events have probabilistic outcomes. Okay, so this is the basics of decision theory. In the coming webinars, we'll be looking in detail where we'll discuss on the quantitative aspects of decision theory. So thank you for watching my video.